All right, Owner Builders Unite, here we are, Crestone, Colorado. I'm gonna be talking about the most underrated off-grid system, in my opinion, on me and Goldie's Earthship here. And it's called the dump load system, and it's how we heat our hot water. So, as you see here, we have about 3,000 watts in solar panels. And inside, we have 16 L16s batteries on a 48 volt system in two separate series. Um, eight batteries, six volts each, 48 volts in two separate in series. I'm pretty sure I might be botching this, but so by 11 o'clock, this 3000 watts has filled up our batteries to their max capacity. And then you have all this extra power just sitting there, not doing anything. So what the dump load does is it takes that extra power and that's how we make hot water. We're gonna go into my mechanical room and I'm gonna walk you through our system. Here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna fill in front of the charge controller, but all it's right. the piano, okay. So right now I'm running a Midnight Classic 150. This is my charge controller panel here. And we're at float right now, you know, standard charge controller business, 48 volt system. Inside is where my actual Midnight Classic 150 is, thanks to Chuck Cassidy, my big boy over there. Um, so what's happening here with the dump load is, like I said, once the batteries hit full capacity, these are my batteries, there's eight here, there's eight down there, and 48 volt system, I'm on repeat right now. So what happens is, is this charge controller clicks over a 12 volt signal to this relay right here. It's a 40 amp relay. The small wires click on the 12 volt and the bigger wires run to an element in a conventional hot water tank. And I'm sorry about the mess. This is a messy room, my mechanical room. And so I bought a 48 volt DC element from Missouri Wind and Solar, and we might put that little link up there if they're still in business, I don't know. But bought two elements, right, at 1,000 watts each. So 2,000 watts goes into heating this hot water. But what I did is since we only have a 3000 watt system is I disconnected the top element and now I'm only running one 1000 watt 48 volt DC element on the bottom. And these just screw out and you just replace them. It's super standard, it's super straightforward and they're just the elements. So you buy this tank, you take the old elements out, Missouri wind and solar elements go in and you can buy 24 volt, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if they do a 12. Do your own research on that. But I did the 1000 watt single element at the bottom because heat rises and because it's only running 1000 watts and when I would kick on like a, a table saw or run a huge load, it would actually shut the whole system off intermittently. So I just wanted to be able to run um, high voltage things, high wattage elements and have my system still make 1000 watts of power to keep this water going. And between me and Goldie, this is enough hot water for us. Um, when we have friends in town, sometimes it runs a little bit low. That's the only complaint, but you can do a lot of other things with this. This is how we take showers, wash our dishes. Um, this is our hot water for our house. And I think if you have a big enough solar setup that you can do radiant floor systems with this, you can do all sorts of other things with a dump load setup. It's not just for making hot water. It's for dumping your load. You got to dump that load. You don't want the power just sitting there doing nothing all day. So most underrated off-grid system, in my opinion, is dumping your load. Don't forget it, folks. Owner Builders Unite, keeping you on those hot tips. Keep it real.